Hola chicos, ¿cómo están? En la lección pasada aprendimos a emplear los adverbios secuenciales para redactar una historia en tiempo pasado. ¿Pero qué les parece si vamos a un fragmento de la lección anterior? ¡Comencemos! <risa> Recuerden que los adverbios secuenciales son First, When, Finally, After That y Then. Number one. La respuesta es first. Number two. La respuesta es then. Number three. La respuesta es after that. Number four. La respuesta es when. Number five. La respuesta es finally. Unit 5, Lesson 3. When I was a child. Identificarán que could, couldn't, indica habilidad en tiempo pasado en forma afirmativa o negativa. Hola a todos. En el episodio de hoy, aprenderemos a utilizar could y couldn't para describir lo que podíamos o no podíamos hacer en el pasado. Por ejemplo, cuando éramos niños. Vamos a ver qué sucede. Hi, Crystal. What are you doing? I was looking at some photos from a festival where I participated when I was in primary school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you looked amazing. What were you wearing? I was wearing a wipil. Do you know what a wipil is, Hero? Mm -mm. No, I don't. What is it? It's a beautiful dress from Oaxaca. In that mm -hmm. festival, we celebrated something called La Calaguetza. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is? I don't know. It's a group of dances from each of the regions in Oaxaca. Mm. It's so beautiful. Uh -huh, really? I couldn't dance when I was a child. I can dance very well. Mm -hmm. I'm still a good dancer. <laughs> What things could you do when you were a child? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could play many instruments. Mm -hmm. I could play the piano, the guitar, and the drums. That's amazing! <laughs> I couldn't play the drums, but I could play the piano. I could do it when I was a child. Well, maybe you need to practice. Mm, yes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Crystal and I mm -hmm. were talking about the things that we could and couldn't do when we were children. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yes, Sarasvati. What things could you do when you were a child? When I was a child, I couldn't swim. And you? I could swim when I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. I loved swimming. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. I think swimming is very difficult. Mm -hmm. But I could play soccer when I was a child. Mm -hmm. Now, soccer is my favorite sport. Mm -hmm. I could ride a bicycle when I was four years old. 
Wow! I could ride a bicycle when I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good morning! Mm -hmm. You look so tired. <gasps> oh, I am very tired. I couldn't sleep last night. There was a party next door. I could hear the music all night. Uh, that's too bad. I slept very well. <laughs> Hi there. Jimena, you look so tired. Uh, <laughs> I am very tired. <laughs> I will get you some coffee. <laughs> I need to ask you a favor, Jimena. I hope you can help me. Uh, what is it, Sarasvati? We want to talk about the things mm. that we could and couldn't do when we were kids for a special radio mm. program. Mm -hmm. Crystal wants to talk about the time when she danced La Gela Getza. Mm -hmm. But we need more information. Can you please write something about La Gela Getza for us? Mm, definitely, Sarasvati. Uh, oh, I would love to help you. Thank you so much. Mm. I will come back later. See you. Uh, goodbye, mm. Sarasvati. Mm. Mm. I couldn't make coffee, Jimena. Mm. There is no more coffee in the kitchen. That's okay, Antonio. Can you please bring me my book about Mexican traditions? Mm. Sure. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sarasvati. What happened with Jimena? Will she help us? Yes. <laughs> She said she would write mm. something for us. That's amazing! <laughs> She's an amazing writer. <laughs> I couldn't write when I was a child. <laughs> it took me very long to learn. <laughs> I could write when I was five, and I loved writing. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's work on the topics for our radio program. All right! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jimena. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> I fell asleep. I can see that, Jimena. Did you write something about La Gela Getza? I'm so sorry, Sarasvati. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. I fell asleep right after you left. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't worry, ladies. I wrote it. I knew Jimena was very tired, so I decided to help you, Sarasvati. Here it is. Thank you, Antonio. I thought you couldn't write very well. I could write better when I was young, but I'm still a good writer. Great. I will take it to the radio station and show it to Cristal and Jero. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, mm -hmm. guess what? Antonio wrote this for us. Mm. Oh, that's really sweet of him. <laughs> that's great. Now we only have to write about the things that we could couldn't do when we were kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But let's read what Antonio wrote. Mm -hmm. Please read it to us, Sarasvati. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. La Gela Getza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm also called Lunes del Cerro, mm -hmm. is a regional indigenous cultural event that takes place mm -hmm. in the state of Oaxaca. Mm -hmm. Each region of the state mm -hmm. has a different dance number, mm -hmm. and every dancer is dressed in a costume. De nuevo, chicos. ¿Qué les pareció nuestro episodio de hoy? Hoy aprendimos que could y couldn't se utilizan en pasado para hablar de lo que podíamos o no podíamos hacer en el pasado. 
recordemos que could se usa de una manera afirmativa y couldn't se usa de manera negativa. Veamos algunos ejercicios para practicar lo que aprendimos hoy. Completen la siguiente oración, según la palabra entre paréntesis. Por ejemplo, Jero, negative, dance when he was a child. La respuesta sería, Jero couldn't dance when he was a child. Ahora ustedes completen la siguiente. Sarasvati, negative, dance when she was little, but she, affirmative, sing very well. ¿Ya la tienen? La respuesta sería, Sarasvati couldn't dance when she was little, but she could sing very well. Ahora resuelvan la siguiente. Cristal, affirmative, dance very well, but she, negative, played the drums. ¡Excelente! La respuesta sería, Cristal could dance very well, but she couldn't play the drums. Muy buen trabajo, chicos. Ahora veamos un pequeño fragmento de nuestro episodio de hoy. Pongan especial atención al uso de could y couldn't. Hi, Cristal. What are you doing? I was looking at some photos from a festival where I participated when I was in primary school. Oh, you looked amazing. What were you wearing? I was wearing a wipil. Do you know what a wipil is, Hero? Mm -mm. No, I don't. What is it? It's a beautiful dress from Oaxaca. In that mm. festival, we celebrated something called La Quelaguetza. Mm. Do you know what that is? I don't know. It's a group of dances from each of the regions in Oaxaca. Mm. It's so beautiful! Uh, really? I couldn't dance when I was a child. I could dance very well. Mm -hmm. I'm still a good dancer. <laughs> What things could you do when you were a child? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could play many instruments. Mm -hmm. I could play the piano, the guitar, and the drums. That's amazing! <laughs> I couldn't play the drums, but I could play the piano. I could do it when I was a child. Well, maybe you need to practice. Mm, yes, maybe. <laughs> Hello, guys. Mm? What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Cristal and I mm -hmm. were talking about the things that we could and couldn't do when we were children. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yes, Sarasvati. What things could you do when you were a child? When I was a child, I couldn't swim. And you? I could swim when I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. I loved swimming. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. I think swimming is very difficult. Mm -hmm. But I could play soccer when I was a child. Mm -hmm. Now, soccer is my favorite sport. Mm -hmm. I could ride a bicycle when I was four years old. Wow! I could ride a bicycle when I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 ¿Vieron qué fácil es usar could y couldn't? Espero que hayan aprendido mucho. ¡Nos vemos en la próxima lección!